All you've got to do is sing. See, that could be a singer. Sing. So Sing stars Matthew McConaughey, Scarlett Johansson, Taryn Egerton, Reese Witherspoon, Seth MacFarlane, Gareth Jennings, Jennifer Hudson, John C. Riley, and Nick Offerman. Wow, there's a pretty big cast in this movie. In this movie, we follow Buster Moon, who is a young koala who was bought out of theatre. He's got a love for theatre and performance, but his business isn't doing very well. In fact, it's about to go bankrupt. It's about to be sold off back to the bank. And in one last act of desperation to save what he loved, to save his theatre, he decides to put on a singing competition. Petition, in which the grand prize is $1,000, or at least what he was hoping would be $1,000, except something happened to then make it $100,000, and everyone from town basically came down purely for this prize money. Now Buster has to come up with this $100,000 prize money before the singing competition actually happens, to then basically give it to the winner. And with all these different characters, with different backstories, different personalities, they clash, things go wrong, hearts are broken, people are put in positions which they didn't want to be in, and with this being a family fun movie, it is quite heartfelt, and kids definitely will get a kick out of this. It's got bright colours, visual gags, characters that you can actually care about in some way, and of course there are a lot of catchy songs which will get your kids up and dancing in their seats. No, quite literally that's what happened in my screening, there were kids dancing on their seats. In fact, there were kids dancing in front of the screen. I would say it annoyed me, but it was actually quite entertaining because unfortunately what this movie doesn't have is a good storyline to keep most adults entertained. And that's not entirely a bad thing, if it can keep children entertained that's fine, but I feel like saying that it's just for children is giving the studio leeway to make more movies like that when we know that there are animated movies out there that can entertain both adults and children alike. Don't get me wrong, this movie did try and incorporate some adult humour, but none of it was really funny and it felt really forced. Like, as the movie was going along, they were saying, okay, this is good for kids, this is good for kids, this is good for kids. We need to put something in here now to keep the adults entertained, so we'll put an adult joke in here. And because of that, it felt very forced and I didn't laugh at it. Don't get me wrong, there are a few chuckles in this movie and you've got a very talented cast that helped bring the chuckles along because there are some great comedic actors in here. Talents such as Seth MacFarlane, John C. Riley, Nick Offerman, Taron Egerton. They're all great comic actors and they do bring their comic time into the characters they are portraying. In that there are characters you're supposed to care about and characters that you're supposed to kind of hate. However, I didn't find myself really latching on to any of the characters in this movie because this movie is really predictable for what it is. Like straight off about, once everyone's been introduced and you know who's actually in the singing competition, you will know exactly who's going to win, how it's going to go down, you know which characters are going to cause trouble for the group. And because you can predict so much, you kind of just sit back and go, okay, so this is going to happen. I'm going to wait for this point to happen and then this is going to happen and you basically find yourself telling the entire story of the movie before that particular scene has been shown. Like I said though the cast all do a great job in this movie of bringing their characters to life, they give them personality and they do what they can with the material they've been given to make this entertaining. And I'm not sure if the actors they actually cast are actually singing the songs they are singing but if they are a lot of them have amazing voices particularly Taron Egerton who plays Johnny the Gorilla, yes I did forget that and I did have to look it up but yeah Johnny the Gorilla if he actually sung the songs that he was singing in the film, then Tarrant Egerton has impressed me again with a skill that I didn't know that he had. I didn't know that he could sing if it is him singing in this film. I really hope it is because he has got an incredible voice. I may think that he was dubbed over, but I really hope it's not. I really want this to be another Tarrant Egerton surprise for me because this actor is incredibly talented and I just can't wait to see him in more things as his career progresses. Overall, guys, this is a fine family fun movie that kids will definitely enjoy. It's bright, it's colourful. The animation for this movie is actually really good. But for me, personally, I wasn't that entertained by it. I didn't really feel an emotional connection to any of the characters. A lot of the adult jokes in this movie felt very forced, as if we were just trying to make us laugh to say, hey, this movie is for you guys as well. And of all the music will get your kids up and dancing, that basically leaves you with the job of telling them to sit down, shut up, and watch the movie. Although, I found it quite entertaining because the movie for me was a little bit boring. And so, for all of that, I'm going to give Sing two stars. So, Sing, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. And I will see you all in the next video.